The creatures behind me are the jelly blubber jellyfish and what makes them so special is they're a large species of jellyfish found locally here in Sydney and they're just really visually stunning to look at. This species of jellyfish is found along the east coast of Australia from uh, North Queensland all the way down to Victoria. Outside of Australia they're found in Indonesia, so the Indo-Pacific region, but Australia is where they're most commonly found. Jellyfish don't have any brains or any eyes. These guys behind me can orientate themselves with a light sensing organ that they have inside there, which helps them sense up from down and out in the wild they detect sunlight. So all jellies can't actually consciously think because they don't have a brain, they actually just rely on impulses. Sea jellies do have male and female. You can't visually tell if it's a male or a female just by looking at it. You need to send samples away and look under a microscope. But out in the wild, there is a female to male ratio of one to one. So how they reproduce is with that light sensing organ I was talking about before. So that senses when the moon levels and the sun levels are at a certain stage and the male will re release sperm out into the water, water column and the female will swim around and collect that sperm and she will fertilise them inside her. The jelly blubbers behind me eat tiny little crustaceans and out in the wild they'd eat plankton as well. They don't have a true mouth like most animals do, they actually eat by absorbing food through their tentacles through small openings. This species of jellyfish does have stinging cells on the tentacles called nematocytes, however they're not going to do too much damage to you. They will cause a little bit of skin, skin irritation if you brush up against the tentacles, but they're not going to hurt you too much at all, a few hours and it'll all clear up. The jellyfish family is very broad. Some of them, like your moon jelly, are completely harmless and most of them you'll find are completely harmless. However, you will get some that are deadly, like your ones that you find in North Queensland throughout certain seasons of the year. So some of them are very, very dangerous. However, most of them are completely harmless. There's only just a select few of them which pose a danger to humans. The main predators to these guys would actually be our boats and our propellers, but things that eat these guys would be your loggerhead turtles and a few species of birds. This species of jellyfish you won't find throughout most of the year, but when you do find it, you find it in large numbers. There's no research to show that these guys are going extinct or their numbers are declining. However, we haven't done too much research into the number of these guys.